students so today i am going to begin a new poem that is the night meal i uh, hope you people will enjoy and learn something from this chapter so the night meal is a poem in which we'll see the night meal carries the much awaited meals from london to scotland glasgow the poet has personified the night meal giving it human qualities as it travels all night through different terrains so night meal acts like a human being and in its journey and our journey symbolizes the journey of human life with many ups and downs so let's begin the poem so basically this poem is an allegory allegory is a type of a poem in which some hidden meaning is conveyed why the topic is the night meal and just not night meal because the symbolizes that it is just not some ordinary passenger train but it is a special train which delivers mail so in the first stanza we'll see how the poet describes the journey of the night mail this is the night mail crossing the border border of england and scotland in the first line we will see it is visual imagery so the night mail uh, it travels from england to scotland and it carries many types of letters like checks postal orders letters for the rich letters for the poor so it does not differentiate between the rich and the poor wo sabke liye same attitude rakhti hai the shop at the corner and the girl next door so wo sabke liye letters sabke liye koi na koi news information leke aati hai be it a rich man be it a poor man be it the shop at the corner or the girl next door Pulling up B talk a steady climb the gradients against her but she's on time so there are various obstacles on her way but even then the night train is always on time personification used by fast cotton grass and moorland borders shoveling white steam over her shoulders so the train is crossing different different fields it is crossing uh, cotton fields moorland means uncultivated hilly area and shoveling means chucking out with uh, smoke apni shoulder ke upar se smoke nikalte hue wo aage move kar rahi hai personification so it is chucking out white smoke over its shoulders auditory imagery hai shoveling pe snortling noisily as she passes snorting pe personification hai so it actually roars through the silent fields and when it passes through the fields it gives a loud noise silent miles it covers long distances of wind bent grasses air pressure wind bent jab hawa bahut tezi se chalti hai to jo grasses hain wo bend ho jate hain to air pressure causes the grasses to bend moving on to the next stanza birds turn their heads as she approaches stared from the bush at a blank faced coach birds are awakened by the noise of the train and they stare from the bush they are staring blankly they peep curiously from their nest at the blank blank face means no passenger are there in the coaches so birds jo hai wo dekh rahi hai us mail train pe jiske andar koi passenger ki shakal dikhai nahi de rahi hai sheep dogs cannot turn her course sheep dogs are those dogs which are trained to control sheep on the farm so even sheep dogs aapne dekha hoga when you move at night to generally dogs aapki gaadi ko peecha karte hain aapki gaadi ko follow karte hain they bark but even the sheep dogs have no effect of the train because they know wo uska kuch nahi bigad sakte hain wo kuch nahi kar sakte hain to wo bhi chup chap sote rehte hain wo us noise ke habitual ho chuke hain and they do not uh, like follow the train they slumber on with their paw across so they are relaxed they slumber slumber means they are sleeping on with paws across they sleep in a relaxed way because they know they cannot do to alter the train's course they cannot do anything in the farm she passes no one wakes but a jug in the bedroom gently shakes people have grown habitual so when the train passes no one in the farm wakes up unke liye to ye roz ki habit ho gayi hai but yes जग जो है वो रंबल करता है इट क्रिएट्स अ वाइब्रेशन सिर्फ जग जो रखा होता है वो थोड़ा सा वाइब्रेट करता है मूविंग ऑन टू द थर्ड स्टैंडा सो थर्ड स्टैंडा टाइम स्पैन थोड़ा सा बीत चुका है डॉन आ गया है मॉर्निंग टाइम है डॉन मार्क्स द एंड ऑफ डार्कनेस एंड बिगनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू डे डॉन फ्रेश सो एक्चुअली मैं वी कैन से दैट डॉन ब्रिंग्स होप इन द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल 
सो इट इज मॉर्निंग टाइम एंड द ट्रेन क्लाइंब अप द हिल इज कम्प्लीट ट्रेन ऊपर पहुंच चुकी है हिल के ऊपर जो उसकी चढ़ान थी वो कंप्लीट कर चुकी है डाउन टू वर्ड्स ग्लास गाउ शी डिड सेंड सो नाउ द ट्रेन इज डिसेंडिंग डाउन इन टू दी स्कॉटलैंड वो नीचे की तरफ स्कॉटलैंड की तरफ आ रही है Towards the steam tug yelping down the glades of cranes, towards the fields of apparatus. So the landscape changes from pastoral to industrial setup. So towards the steam tugs, tugs means boats, yelping down, crying, yelping means crying down the glade of cranes. So glades of cranes means row of cranes along the Glasgow, which appears like trees. So जहाँ पे अब वो आई है That place is quite different from the earlier place. It is no longer fields. It's more industrialized area now. यहाँ पे so यहाँ पे simile used. So now there are fields of apparatus and furnaces set on the dark plain like gigantic chessmen. So simile जो हुई है it is actually depicting the planning, building and working that goes into making a town or a city. So in the morning the train is coming down down towards the Glasgow and is heading towards the harbour where the steamboats are unloading. वो अपना सामान उतार रहे हैं. All Scotland waits for her. So it is going to bring news gossip for them so all the people of scotland is waiting for the night train her again symbolizes the train personification in the dark glen glen means narrow valley beside the pale green sea lots men long for news sea lots means lakes so people are actually waiting eagerly for the night mail because the night mail is going to bring a lot of gossip a lot of news for them next stanza illustrates about the different kind of letter which the night mail is carrying letters of thanks letters from banks letters of joy from the girl and the boy receipted bills and invitation to inspect a new stock or visit relations and applications for situations and timid lovers declarations and gossip gossip from all the nation stock means supply of a thing a shop has for sale so basically there is a mail there are all kinds of mail mail kaise kaise hain invitations ke hain applications ke hain lovers ke declaration ke hain gossip ke hain financial news hain so this mail train carries different different kinds of letters timid means shy timid means shy shy lover apni declaration likh raha hai apni feelings apni lover ko likh raha hai so different different kinds of feelings different different kinds of news is conveyed through these letters new circumstantial news financial letters with holiday snaps snaps means photos to enlarge in letters with faces scrawled in the margin letters from uncle cousins and aunt letters to scotland from the south of france letter of condolence to highland and lowland notes from overseas to hebrides so there are different different kinds of letter which is carried by the night mail so the letters are from various people like from family members from friends from banks so different different kinds of letters are carried in fact jo international news the us zamane mein tv internet ka zamana to tha nahi to international news ki jo uh, informations hoti thi wo bhi in letters ke through milte the because hitler was becoming very aggressive during that time so everyone used to wait eagerly for their letters sabki apni apni priorities hoti hain sab log apne apne type ke letters padhna chahte hain लेटर्स विथ फेसेस क्रॉल्ड इन द मार्जिन मीन्स अन टाइडी वे में तो बहुत डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड के लेटर्स होते थे कुछ बहुत गंदे वे में लिखे होते थे इन एन अन टाइडी वे विच वॉज रिटन इवन इन द मार्जिन ऑल्सो सो वी कैन सी दैट द मेल इंक्लूड द इंटायर स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन फ्रॉम रूटीन हैपनिंग टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कम्युनिकेशन अक्रॉस द बॉर्डर नोट्स फ्रॉम ओवरसीज टू हेब्रीड्स हेब्रीड्स आर ग्रुप ऑफ आईलैंड ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड सो फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेसेज पीपल यूज टू कम्युनिकेट विथ ईच अदर थ्रू दीज लेटर written on paper of every hue hue means color so diversity of people different kind of people used to write in different colors in the, on different kind of paper the pink the violet the white and the blue the chatty chatty means talkative the catty uh, some people who have the tendency of saying always unkind words always saying rude words boring adoring the cold and the offish and the hearts outpouring clever stupid short and long the typed and the printed and and the spelt all wrong so various kinds of letters was brought by the night mail so some letters are even misspelled so we can say that in this stanza we uh, find a glimpse of various facets of human interaction
some some people write in a chatty tone some write in a catty boring friendly clever cold and stupid tone so everyone has their own style everyone has their own way of writing letters so the mail train irrespective of all these things used to bring such meals so in the last stanza we'll see thousands are still asleep so asleep where in glasgow in edinburgh uh, so thousands are still asleep dreaming of terrifying monster or a friendly tea beside the band at cranston or crawfords so thousand people are still sleeping they are dreaming of either beautiful things like tea or some terrible things like a monster friendly tea beside the band band a covered platform outdoor where musicians can stand and play so some people see the dreams of terrifying monsters whereas others see beautiful dreams of drinking tea with the band at cranston or crawfords these are scottish cities asleep in working glasgow asleep in well set edinburgh asleep in granite abbot it is a city where generally all the buildings are made up of granite pale granite so people of edinburgh uh, glasgow aberdeen are asleep and they are dreaming of monster or a friendly tea they continue their dreams and shall wake soon and long for letters see abhi to wo log so rahe lekin jaise hi uthenge they will immediately want कि काश मुझे लेटर्स मिल जाए काश मुझे अपने लोगों के वेल्ट टू के बारे में पता चल जाए एंड नन विल हियर द पोस्ट मीन्स नॉक विदाउट अ क्विकनिंग ऑफ हिज हार्ट एंड एज सुन एज दे वेक अप एंड व्हेन दे हियर द नॉक ऑफ द पोस्टमैन देयर हार्ट बीट्स उनकी हार्ट बीट तेज हो जाएंगी क्यों क्योंकि सबको अच्छा लगता है ये जानना कि लोग उनको याद रखे हैं एवरी वन फील्स हैप्पी टू बी रिमेंबर्ड फॉर हु कैन बी आर टू फील हिमसेल्फ गॉटन रिटोरिकल क्वेश्चन है सो द लास्ट लाइन इट एक्चुअली रेकग्नाइज द ह्यूमन नीड ऑफ कनेक्शन एंड अप्रिसिएशन नो वन वॉन्ट्स टू बी फॉर गॉटन सो द नाइट मेल एक्चुअली कनेक्ट द पीपल एंड इट डिलीवर्स द लेटर सो इन दी एंड कैन से कि चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए नाइट मेल जो है वो किसी में डिफ्रेंशिएट नहीं करती है चाहे वो रिच हो चाहे वो पुअर हो चाहे वो कैसी भी राइटिंग में लिखते हों चाहे वो किसी भी इंक से लिखते हों वो लोगों को कनेक्ट करती है वो लोगों के लेटर्स शेयर करती है बिकॉज नो बडी विशेज टू बी फॉर गॉटन बाय देर फ्रेंड्स रेलेटिव और एक्वेंटेंसेज सो होप आपको ये पोएम समझ में आया हो इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स प्लीज डू आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई ट्राई टू आंसर ऑल ऑफ देम टिल देन प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बाय